my gents. What we've got here is a 1956-ish Mark V Greeny um, that I've just gone through the trouble of replacing the gaskets inside the original magnet air compressor. Um, the gasket that was in it uh, was this fella right here. It's pretty old, uh, you know, probably the original. It's not in terrible shape, but it didn't seem like it was creating a great seal. Um, so I ordered a sheet of uh, um, fabric back neoprene here. Um, it's actually a little thicker than, I don't know if you can get a great focus on that, but it's a little thicker than what this actually is, but I don't know, it seems to work. Um, all I've got here is I've just got a really generic, like, $15 air spray gun from uh, Harbor Freight. And then I also got this little uh, pressure gauge here so that I could tell um, what was going on and if it was working. Because I tried hooking it up directly before, before I changed the gasket and I couldn't get any uh, any liquid to come out. That's just got water in it, so um, just to test it. But I couldn't get any liquid to come out of it, so I wanted to make sure I was getting adequate pressure, replace the vat, or replace that, and now this hooked up. Now we'll show you on the speed control. You're not supposed to go up above C. It doesn't really need to. I'll show you. We'll kick it on. Here right away it fires up. And then we'll Jump it up. You see, we're getting pressure. Once you get it to about C, it should give a pretty good amount of about 30 pounds, about 30 psi. And then we'll go over and we'll pick up our spray gun here. Come around the other side. And just to show you, it gets, probably can't see it all that well. It's uh, not easy to do one handed. You can open up the liquid a little bit. And we'll get a little more. Obviously, I gotta work on my spraying skills a bit, but we definitely have liquid coming out, we definitely have it working, and only at about 30 PSI. The only downside is this connector right here seems to warm up, the compressor itself gets pretty hot. Um, so if we take it and shut it off, you know, this seems to be, it's a little warm. Compressor is a little warm. It's not as warm as it was. I kind of oiled everything up um, around the bearings and stuff to make it work good, but there it is. I have a working Shopsmith Magna air compressor. Uh, and all thanks to my original owner's manual here. I can go back to the original directions for this bad boy. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, that's it, and uh, thanks for watching.